we are going to discuss about resolution of vectors in this lecture so what is a vector in physics uh, some physical quantities when they have both magnitude as well as direction and follows triangle law of vector addition shei physical quantity gulo ke amra vectors bol ba vector bol for example displacement velocity force they are vectors because they have both uh, follow triangle law of vector addition displacement velocity force these examples they follow triangle law of addition as well as they have magnitude and also sense direction for example current which is not considered as a vector but it has got a magnitude as well as direction because it does not follow triangle law of vector addition now next what is unit vector unit vector is basically a vector which is equal to a magnitude into a unit vector let us suppose a vector a which is equal to magnitude of a multiplied by unit vector let us try to explain how does it happen suppose you have a, you consider a vector a you get a vector a dharo ba shei vector a ke tumi jodi equally bhag koro thara jake ei bhabe bhag korchi ei equal bhag gulo ke amra bolte parbo je unit vectors ta ekhane for example in this case you have uh, four such unit vectors so i will say here a is 4 into unit vectors so that 4 into unit vectors makes the total vector capital a the entire vector so now we come to the uh, a point where we want to resolve a vector into components so before i start into components resolving vectors into components at a vector ke ki kore dutto component e bhanga ja in two dimension amra jani je jodi tumi x r y coordinate axis dhoro ekta point ke x r y diye define kora jay tale from the origin ei x point ta hocche ei x distance ar y point ta hocche origin theke y axis er ei height ta y tale in an x y coordinate system x y point represents like this ebar jodi amar kache ekta vector thake v shei vector is inclined with an angle theta with the x axis or amra bolte pari this vector v makes an angle theta with x axis shei khetre ei vector v ke dutto component e amra bhangte pari we can break this into two components one in the horizontal direction x axis er dike other in the vertical direction y axis er dike we can break resolve into two components seta ki kore hocche now see this vector v i can say that this vector point can be defined by vx and vy similarly like this tal a height a distance the x axis barabar jeta seta vx and y axis barabar jeta vy ebar ei vx vector ke amra bhangte pari into vx into unit vector similarly j vector is a unit vector in the y direction so i can write the magnitude of v uh, 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 y into j unit vector so v a j v y ta can be written as v y into unit vector and v x vector can be written as v x into unit vector ebar amra jodi ekhane cos theta sin theta bar kori tale i can write down that cos theta is equal to v x by v and sin theta is equal to v y by v similarly we can write the component v y is equal to magnitude of v into sin theta and vx is equal to magnitude of v into cos theta so this vector v can be resolved into or resolved as v is equal to vx i cap plus vy j cap and this concept can also be applied to three dimension space where we have the three coordinates governed by x y z seta amra dekheni তার আগে একবার রিভিশন দিয়ে নিই যে কার্টেশিয়ান কম্পোনেন্টস ইন কার্টেশিয়ান কোঅর্ডিনেটস আ ভেক্টর ক্যান ইন টু ডাইমেনশন ক্যান বি রিজলভড অ্যাজ দিস সো লেট আস গো টু দি থ্রি ডাইমেনশন ধরা যাক যে দিস ডিরেকশন ইজ এক্স অ্যাক্সিস 
This is y and the vertical is z. ताले अमरा देखो vertical point टा z point टा is three, x point टा होच्छे two, y coordinate टा होच्छे one. So you have x, y, z as two, one, three. Now how do I plot a point two, one, three? Two, one, three is this point. So how do you plot this two, one, three? Now see this is two. This distance noted as green color, light green. This is the one which is the y coordinate, which is in pink or, and this is the blue one which is the z at for coordinate three. So this point two one three represents a coordinate in three dimension space, denoted as two one three. So if I want to write down this in x y z, so if v is a ve vector. It can have a value or coordinate governed by x, y, z, and then I can resolve similarly like two uh, two dimension. I can resolve this velocity vector v into components. Let us see how do uh, how we can do it. Suppose this is your y axis, this is x axis, and this is z axis, and this vector is the red in color. So you can write down the vector. Uh, before I say that this is the unit vectors, i is the x-axis unit vector, j is the unit vector for the y direction, and k is the unit vector in the z direction. We can write down the vector a, any vector as a is equal to a x vector and a x component a y and a z. Now this a x can be written as a x magnitude a x into unit vector, which becomes a, a vector a x a y into j vector. A y is the magnitude of a y vector in multiplied by j vector. This becomes the after multiplication. This becomes a y vector similarly with a z. So what is the magnitude of a? As we have shown in 2D, we can write down in 3D also root over a x square a y square a z square. Like this, I can also uh, uh, evaluate or determine the relation between uh, cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma as a x equal to a cos alpha, a y is equal to a cos beta, a z is equal to a cos gamma. Like the same way we calculated for uh, sine theta and cos theta in in the in the coordinate system in the two two dimension. So cos cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma are called the direction cosines, and the relation is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to one. So let us do an example. Suppose you have three vectors. One in the east direction, the other one is in the northeast direction, and the other one is the north direction. And the magnitude of the vectors are five, five root two, and five. You have to find out the sum of three vectors, the resultant of these three vectors in in both the direction x and y, that is in terms of i and j, their magnitude and the direction. So, what is the value of a? A is the velocity because it is in the x-axis, so I can write a is equal to five into i cap because i is the unit vector in the x direction. Similarly, for b, b I can resolve this b into two components, one in the x and y, either in the z, uh, um, y axis. So I can write down this five root two, I uh, sorry, uh, as five root two cos theta i cap five root two is the vector b cos theta means this is 45 degree so 5 root 2 cos 45 i cap i cap this is the value vx which i have shown into i cap because this is also theta equal to 45 so i can write down 5 root 2 sin 45 j so i can have the v resolved into 5i plus 5j and c vector is in the y direction so i can say 5j so if i take the sum of, uh, uh, of a plus b plus c I can write down 10i plus 10j and the magnitude of a plus b plus c if I take I will take 10 square plus 10 square both in the i and the j direction which I'll get as 10 root 2 and the direction is given by y by x that is what is 10 10 by 10 because y by x what is your uh, uh, what is your c direction you will have both two vectors in the b and c the b component y direction as well as c and in the x you have a and if i take that theta you have 10 by 10 which is equal to 1 theta equal to 45 so we come to the end of this lecture